Hi everyone, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening, 26th of January, 5 o'clock in the evening, or just gone 5, which is why I've had to put the lights on in the greenhouse. And today's video that I'm starting is on these alliums. So if I turn the camera around and uh, we can have a look together. So there you have it, that's the seed heads from Allium Lavender Bubbles, which is a, a new-ish variety. It's been around probably about four or five years now, uh, but only really just gone, I guess, mainstream into the garden centres in the last couple of years, because uh, just as it got released, uh, Covid struck so yeah we've only had it in the garden centres for a couple of years um, but nonetheless it is a lovely allium it gets sort of uh, pretty vivid purple globular flowers or individual flowers that then make up this globe seed head let's, uh, let's get one so each of these bits is one individual flower and collectively they make up a pom-pom of lavender purple color now the actual plant well it's a bulb rather than a, a, a soft tissue type of plant so it comes from a bulb alliums are in the onion family and garlic family so my thinking is that they should be uh, grown from seed or will grow from seed if we do it now because January after all is the same month in which we'd sow normal alliums such as those there which are the onion kelsey so yeah we can give these a try but as I said that each one of these was an individual flower and so it's these tiny black bits in the middle that is the seed so yeah so first off you need to knock all the seeds out of the out the heads themselves and then we can separate out the rubbish from the the good bit and uh, take it from there so let's go and do that right so it's worth pointing out that i cut all these seed heads off back in the autumn time so it was about the september october I've had them just sitting in the shed over the winter period, just to allow them to to dry, not get wet, not get frosted. And that has enabled these seeds to dry quite nicely actually, so that then they become this nice hardened seed ready for, for sowing. Uh, they do need displacing a little bit. Now, most alliums or the ornamental alliums are, are not very invasive at all um, you know if they do set seed uh, they tend to drop it pretty close to the plant anyway so you, if they do uh, grow then it's always within the confines of, of that sort of limited area so you never really have a problem with them and Again, being an allium, they're very easy to pull up. So it's going to take a little while for me to separate this lot out. But uh, I'm hoping that I should get a decent amount of seed from this, which invariably means that we've got a better chance of um, well, getting something to germinate. So we shall see. But it's going to take a little while, that's for sure. got a fair amount of seed there plus husk and I'm hoping that if we give it a light shake that actually let's see if you can see that the husk then goes to the top and the seed below so let's see if we can now separate that out a little bit oh yeah that'll work or oh, that has worked so let's just pop 
Put the husks to one side. They're never going to be as good as a commercial enterprise, but getting some of it out will make a significant difference. Right, so that's a good amount of husk out. Another little shake, see if we can get a few more bits out. Oh yeah. Right, so that's what we're left with. Which, tipped like that, that's a good volume. So I'm, I'm well pleased with that. Now, it's worth pointing out that alliums are, you know, as in normal onions, are um, essentially a biennial. So the first year when you plant the, the onions, and that's if you're doing them from onion sets then they will grow they produce their onion bulb and it's the second year that they then go to the uh, flower stage and and subsequently to seed so me sowing these seeds it might actually take two three years before they're producing flower but that's fine you know if i can get them to germinate then i know that in a couple of years time I'm going to have, um, well, certainly a year's time, I have a, a viable plant that can go out into the garden and hopefully reward me with a good lot of flowers. And as I say, they, they produce so much flower colour, flower power, and they, they have a, a shelf life or a flowering period of about six, eight weeks. So really worthwhile. Um, plant itself only gets to about... 18 inches sometimes two foot in height and gradually clumps up so definitely worthwhile um, so in terms of how I'm going to be planting these or what I'm sowing them into let's straighten you up again uh, I'm using one of my old six pack cell trays label already pre-written so I don't forget or don't jumble them up with uh, other seeds, more to the point. So all I'm going to do is just take some of these little pinches and just put them into each of the cells. And I know there's a little bit of husk still, but you know, really it's not going to impact things too much. I didn't realise how much seed I've got. So, could be absolutely masses of the things come up um, but I don't know how it's going to germinate uh, because I've never done it before never tried never tried growing like normal flowering alliums from a seed so a bit of a learning curve um, but I'm going to treat them the same way as Say a normal onion, so having oh, put the seed down there or onto the beets, I'm going to cover them over with vermiculite. Which, if you've seen my previous videos or if you're aware, it's essentially a um, volcanic type product. I mean, that's where it used to come from, now it's man made, but it helps to block out the, the light to the seed whilst retaining moisture and it also as it breaks down it releases some nice um, micro nutrients uh, the only thing I do need to do is give it a spray down let's pick that up so this Get some water into this spray can, spray bottle. And again, being a, an allium, I'm fully expecting these to take possibly uh, two or three weeks to, to do something on the propagator. So give it a, a spray down. You can see the vermiculite's turning to this uh, 
nice egg yolk type colour as it retains the moisture or takes on the moisture and what that's going to do is just going to lock in some moisture to keep this, the seeds on the moist side to prevent them drying out but without um, absolutely saturating them and causing them to rot so that's a good old drink there and uh, well from that we're going to stick them in the heated propagate unit. Right, let's go. So, I stick them in there alongside some of the uh, other ornamentals that I've sewn. Um, so, I've done some eryngiums already, you'll see the video on that. I've got some Antirhinum Snapdragon, they've started popping up yesterday, a few more still to emerge, and then another little sowing of a few more chilies. So they go in there, lid on, make sure your vents are shut and uh, hopefully see you in a couple of weeks. Back in the greenhouse three and a half weeks after sowing of the seed that I'd saved of the Allium lavender bubbles. Now last week they were there was a little bit of stuff showing, not a lot. I came in last night, I was pleasantly surprised, but it was just too dark to, you know, to show you what was going on. But look at all of those. So, as ornamental allium is the onion family, you can see how they develop for this bent tip to them so it's at this stage now get them out of your heated propagator and let them cool a little bit so heat to the base but cooler air temperatures so they can then go on the mat up there I just let them harden off now you'll see there's loads of small ones still coming through now that's not a problem because you're still providing basal heat but we're just removing that top heat and reducing the humidity, otherwise they will quickly um, rot, basically. The onions as a, a seed, they don't enjoy being too wet. So that, that's that, that's, um, there I'll turn it so you can see. Allium, lavender bubbles, all grown happily from seed that was uh, saved and sown from last year and there we are it's quite a straightforward video but um, obviously it has involved saving the seed of the allium flowers from one summer stroke autumn through to the following spring so that's the only thing is you know just as I showed you at the beginning of the video just keeping the seed nice cool uh, frost free position so it allows it to dry out and to store nice and safely and then you can sow it this time of year and we chose January because that's typically when you start sowing onion seeds and it just gives you the longest amount of growing time throughout the season so um, say so other than that quite straightforward just give him a bit of heat um, if you have got any questions then please send them to me I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on future videos I'm doing, which are always changing. And um, yeah, try something different. So, you know, you can now, right in that corner, try saving your own uh, seed from your alliums. See how that works out for you. And um, not this year, but next, you have uh, plenty more flowers plenty more good bulbs so it's a two year two year crop that is that's what you got to remember so till next time bye for now